so we are in day eight of like a 10 day trip and people ask us all of the time what happens when you go on vacation do you go off of keto and i was just thinking how far down the rabbit hole would i be if we were off keto for eight straight days Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So, uh, sorry for the wind, it's really windy out. Yes. But, you know, we're on our way home from New York, back to Florida, from our camping trip and visiting my mom, and we've been seeing a lot of messages and comments on our videos of like, did you guys stay keto? Or what do you do when you go on a vacation? And we are on a very long extended vacation. Longest vacation we've taken in our marriage. And I totally understand that for some people, just kind of like their plan when they're on vacation is to go off keto. Right. And we do, you know, advise that you have a plan of some sort. Yep. Like don't let it just happen to you, whether you stay on keto on vacation or not. But yeah. for us, I don't think I can even imagine going off on keto and certainly not for this extended amount of time. Yeah, so people have asked in the past, like, how come you never go off keto? For me, some of it was always, I know myself because, you know, I, I like, for example, loved bread and I could just see myself deciding, you know what, today I'm going to have some bread and then just having that take me down a rabbit hole that I can't get back out of. So the best thing for me was always to put that fence up, to have that barrier up and be like, you just can't ever have that. Because if you have that, you may never go back on the other side of the fence. Well, and for me, I really consider myself a carb-aholic, no different than somebody that was addicted to alcohol. Right. And you wouldn't really advise somebody that has, you know, a past with alcoholism to say like, hey, for just, you know, one day, one night, you know, one week, go ahead and, you know, indulge in some alcoholic beverages no you would be like none at all and that's kind of the protocol that I you know adhere to and the other thing is you know I like the way I feel and yeah. I don't want to experience the negative effects that I get when I do eat carbohydrates or I do have too much of bad oils or things like that that's not to say that we never have um, like you know mayonnaise that's made with a bad oil maybe right. like a tablespoon at a restaurant or something like that but we really do try to avoid it because when we do have even that little bit it doesn't make me feel great so I, I can't even it. imagine how I would feel after 10 days of not eating the way I've been eating for the last four years yeah so what we're gonna do in this video as we're headed back home to Florida we're gonna go over some of the things that we do while we're on vacation to stay keto because we don't do keto when we're on the road quite the same way we do when we're at home. Exactly. I got fooled thinking this was like beef jerky. I went and I'm like, are my teeth bad? <laughs> Cause I mean, this thing is thick. So one of the things that we do when we're on trip as Rachel is sitting here uh, premiering our uh, May Chow Club unboxing, if you haven't seen that, there's gonna be a link up in the top corner, is we get beef jerky, right? We love beef jerky. But that ain't jerky. And uh, I forget what that is. It's almost like a beef tenderloin. And yeah, these pieces are, look at the size of that thing. I know, right, it's huge. And then we get like dried sausage. And again, when we say, what would we call it? Traveling keto, right? Yes. We use things like this. But honestly, I'm not gonna probably eat these because sometimes I don't like the way they make me feel the next day. It doesn't hit Joe quite as hard as it does me, so I'm just gonna avoid them. Oop, it's starting. Are you excited? I'm so excited. 
So one of the hacks that I do to stay keto, especially on long road trips, as ridiculous as this sounds, is have a giant drink. And I will fill this with water. Sometimes I'll fill it with soda, with iced tea. I'll put a bunch of like Redmond Relight in here. And the whole idea is every time I think I want to eat, like as I'm driving down the road, because that's when I want to snack. I want to snack when I'm driving. Like it's just a mindless activity of just like, you know, driving down the road. So I want to do something like that hand to mouth, you know, action. So I will drink like two or three of these throughout the day, but it keeps me from eating. If I every few seconds I can just kind of reach over and take a little sip, it really helps me just curb that wanting to actually eat something because I'm getting something in my mouth, whether it's like, you know, water or some kind of flavor or something from drinking Redmond or even a diet soda. And for me, of course, it's coffee. Have coffee with me. I don't need to eat anything if I have coffee. And one thing that I take with me while I travel is some kind of a flavoring because there are a lot of ways to fix up your coffee at places like Racetrack and Sheets. Sometimes they have like entire coffee bars with all kinds of goodies that, that could distract you from staying on plan. So I know that if I bring my skinny syrup or I bring some collagen or something to put in my coffee, then I will enjoy it and it will be a fun coffee just like everybody else gets to have. Now, whether we're traveling in our RV or we're on airplanes and staying in hotels, we definitely rely on products like from today's sponsor, which is Perfect Keto. Now, if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, Perfect Keto is a nutrition company that has some delicious keto products. Things like my favorite, which is this peanut butter collagen. They also have things like this MCT oil powder, which we absolutely love. This stuff is delicious in your coffee. It adds a little bit of fat to your coffee, some creaminess, but you can also get some flavor and a little bit of sweetness without resorting to things like heavy cream or adding swerve. But what I really like when it comes to traveling with Perfect Keto is products like these new NOLA bars or their Perfect Keto bars. Because here's what happens. So when I go on vacation, I want to feel like I'm treating myself. I'm having something different. So, you know, a lot of times you're going to stop at a gas station. You're going to see people grabbing things like pizza or candy bars or maybe ice cream. And you're like, hey, I want that. I don't want to feel like I'm missing out. Well, that's where things like these NOLA bars come in because now I can have that little bit of treat, feel like I'm still getting something a little different on my vacation than I'm having at home, but I'm not going off plan and I'm not derailing my entire keto lifestyle. Now, if you're interested in Perfect Keto products, there is a link down below and you can also use the code 2 Ketos to get a discount off of your order. Now, Perfect Keto is a huge supporter of our channel and we greatly appreciate you for supporting the sponsors who support our channel. What do you got there? We got some of these keto ratio yogurts when we were visiting Joe's mom and we put them in the freezer and freeze them for like an ice cream treat. And these are <laughs> delightful. Now we normally make our own yogurt, but when we're out on the road like this, it's kind of fun to pick up some of these treats along the way and then be able to enjoy them whenever we stop. So I am loving this. Now, if you are looking for yogurt, make sure, especially if you're getting the, the ratio brand yogurt, that you look for the keto and always check the labels because um, you know sometimes it says keto and it's not really keto. And I do know that ratio actually has other yogurts in their line that, that aren't keto. So not all ratio yogurts are created the same. So we find there's always something that you can pick up along the way whenever you're on a road trip. Like we've got some cheese, there's always some sort of sausage. We've got little individual cups of avocado. Most gas stations have boiled eggs ready. So there's a lot of variety of things that we can eat even when we, ha we need some grab and go options. Woo, mama. <laughs> this is hot. Whoa. Is it that bad? I only brought co hot coffee, boiling hot coffee as a drink. That was a mistake. I don't get anything yet. It's coming. Getting a little bit. It is okay, now I'm getting it. On the tongue. On the tongue, back of the throat. Whew. But it's good. But you know what that means? 
you're not gonna eat a lot of it at once. Yeah. So, um, I love beef jerky. I can eat a pound of beef jerky in a sitting. You ain't gonna eat a pound of this. So, I mean, this one does have a little bit more carbs, but I'm still not, it's still not bad at five carbs for like a serving, but I don't think you're gonna even finish a serving. And uh, wow, this is, it's good, but it, it's spicy. The bottom line is this, for us, we don't really want to go off keto when we go on vacation. There are so many things out there that you can get that you can eat and still feel like you're splurging on yourself, but still stay keto. Yeah, and we feel so good that we don't want to lose momentum as far as our health goals are concerned just because we go on a vacation. I don't think that I would really be treating myself to something like inflammation. I'm not treating myself if I'm going to allow myself to have the sore joints again. I don't want a headache on our vacation. I enjoy feeling good. I want the mental clarity. I want the stamina for the day. And so that's not something that I want to take a vacation from. Now let us know down in the comment section what you do when you go on vacation. Do you stay keto? Do you do like a modified keto? Do you just say, you know what, I'm going to get back on like when I get home. And there's no wrong answer no. for you. This is just how we choose to vacation. But let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, make sure you take a look at the videos that we have linked right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we have linked right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we go on a road trip, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.